Okay, this uh, video is going to go through potential energy calculations. So uh, we're going to um, calculate the potential energy of a baby carriage that is sitting at the top of a hill that is 20 meters high. The carriage with the baby has a mass of 1.5 kilograms. So the equation that we use for potential energy is mass times gravitational constant um, times the height. So I'm going to say that the potential energy equals the mass, which is 21, excuse me, the mass, which is 1.5, 1.5 kilograms times the gravitational constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared times the height, which is 21 meters, okay? Now, the math, we can just multiply the numbers straight across, but I want to talk to you for just a second about what happens to the units. We multiply kilograms times meters per second squared times meters. So what we end up with is kilograms times meters per second squared, which equals joules. So that's what's going to happen to our units once we multiply. So I'm going to multiply 1.5 times 9.81, which is our gravitational constant, times 21. And it's going to be 309.015. And then that's going to be kilograms times meters per second squared or 309 joules. Okay, now let's do another example. For this one, the car, oh this is not a potential energy. The roller coaster is at the top of a 72 meter hill and weighs 130 4 kilograms. So we're going to say that the potential energy is going to be equal to the mass, which is 134 kilograms, times the gravitational constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times the height, which is 72 meters. Okay? So we'll say 134 times 9.81 times 72 is going to give us 94,646.88 okay and that's going to be kilograms times meters per second squared. So I'm going to go ahead and round that to, to 47, so that's 9,647, because of the 88, um, joules. Okay, I think we have one more example. Yep, there is a bell at the top of a tower that is 45 meters high, and the bell weighs 19 kilograms. So potential energy of this bell would be the mass, which is 19 kilograms, times the gravitational constant, 9.81 meters per second squared, times the height, which is 45 meters. All right, so I'm gonna say 19 times 9.81 times 45, and that's gonna give me eight 8,387.55. That gives me 8,387.55, and that's kilograms times meters per second squared. So I'm going to round this up to 88 because of the 0.55. It's going to be 8,388 joules. So that is three examples of how to calculate potential energy. Um, again, you have some potential energy practice problems. Either po uh, print out the worksheet and work them directly on the worksheet or just do them on notebook paper. Either way, 
is fine and then take a picture of your work when you're finished and upload it to the assignment in Google Classroom. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd be happy to help.